In this problem, we have a force vector. We know its magnitude, that is 500 Newton. We know something about its direction. We know that um, this angle right here, which is made by this force with the negative z direction, is a 60 degree. And we also know that this angle right here, which is made by this force with the negative y direction, is 45 degree. So from this information, we need to determine this force as a Cartesian vector. So we know that if we know the magnitude of the force and the unit vector of this force, then we can find the force as a Cartesian vector this way. Basically, the magnitude multiplied by its unit vector. The unit vector has the magnitude of 1, and it points to the direction of this force. So we have a magnitude part and a direction part. Okay, Those are the two uh, components of a vector. So we already know this magnitude, 500 Newton. How do we find the unit vector? In this case, we're going to use the coordinate direction angles to determine the unit vector. Recognize that uf equals to cosine alpha i plus cosine beta j plus cosine gamma k. Alpha, beta, gamma are the angles made by the force vector with the positive x, y, and z axis respectively. So in this case, we know this force right here which is not beta because this is made with the negative y direction, but beta is going to be 180 degree minus 45 degree, which is 135 degree. This 135 degree is the angle made by the force with the positive y direction, 135. Similarly, gamma can be determined as 180 degree minus 60 degree, which is 120 degree. So this force right here, from here to here, that is the angle made by the force with the positive z direction, that's 120 degree. So what's missing is alpha, which is the angle made by the force with the positive x direction. So you need to take a look at this image and realize that alpha is an acute angle. In other words, it is smaller than 90 degrees. That's information you have to read from the graph. Therefore, because we know that cosine alpha squared plus cosine beta squared plus cosine gamma squared equals to 1, we know that because that's how you determine the magnitude of the unit vector from this equation and the magnitude of the unit vector has to be 1. Therefore, from here, we can solve for cosine alpha, which equals to the positive, because alpha is acute, therefore cosine alpha has to be positive. If alpha is obtuse, then cosine alpha will be negative. In this case, positive, square root of 1 minus cosine beta, which is 135 degree squared, minus cosine 120 degree squared. So from here, we can do the calculation and realize that oops, this is simply 0 0.5. Therefore, my alpha equals to inverse cosine or arc cosine 0 0.5, and that's 60 degree. So after we de determine that, um, we can substitute cosine alpha, cosine beta, and cosine gamma into this equation to find uf. Therefore, uf equals to cosine alpha, that's 0 0.5, i, cosine beta, which is cosine 135 degree, is negative square root of 2 over 2, so that is about negative 0 0.707, j, and then cosine 120 degrees, negative 0 0.5. Okay, so that's the unit vector. For the force, 
this equals to the magnitude times uf which is 500 multiplied by the unit vector So we multiply 500 to each one of these terms and we can get our force Cartesian vector 250i minus 354j minus 250k in the unit of Newton. So that is our force vector represented as a Cartesian vector.